I've recently acquired a bunch of really nice grizzly woodworking shop tools from a storage locker purchase, and I've already turned around and sold them all to my new friend Kyle, who is another up-and-coming YouTube content creator that is setting up a brand new shop. This guy is super talented and makes some awesome stuff, so after this video, take a moment to pay him a visit over at chasenmakes.com. In addition to just cleaning up the tools and getting them ready for Kyle, I need to convert them from 220 volt to 110 so that they'll all work in his new shop space. Now if you've never done this before, this task may seem daunting, especially if you've never done any electrical work before. So in this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is. I mean, trust me, if a moron like myself can do it, then you will be just fine. As you can see, this Grizzly Edge Sander has been wired for 220 using this grounded straight blade plug. Now we need to make sure that we can even alter the machine, so let's have a quick look at the motor. Most motors will have a label right on the housing that shows a bunch of information. Its age, its height and weight, its eye color, what it likes to do in its free time, etc. But what you're looking for is for its capable voltages. So look for something that says 110 slash 220. This tells us that it can be wired for both. The first step is to just dismantle the current plug. For safety purposes, I stress that you might not want to do this step with the device plugged in. However, if you can perform this step with it plugged into an outlet, then that would be pretty amazing. Dumb, but pretty amazing. Now this is a $4 15 amp 110 volt straight blade plug adapter that I bought off the internet. I'll leave a link to it in the video description. It's just your typical three prong grounded plug that you see everywhere, like on my treadmill laundry rack. So you just need to take out the screws and disassemble it all. And then from here you can slide the collar onto the cord. Now when you look closely at the plug you'll notice that one of the screws is a brass screw while the other is silver in color. So which wire goes to which? Well, it's pretty simple. The white wire goes to the silver screw, and the black wire goes to the brass screw. White to bright, black to brass. Now let's put this thing together. So with this particular style of plug, you don't have to wrap the wires around the screws or anything like that. You just stick the wire between the two plates and tighten the screw. This then sandwiches the wire in place, but be sure to tighten things down pretty good though. You don't want this thing coming loose. Once you got your three wires connected, you can slide the collar over the assembly and then screw that on. And then the last bit is the cord clamp. Make sure that you're clamping onto the jacket of the cord though, and not the wires. After that, your plug should look something like this. Now, don't plug it in just yet or else the world will explode. We need to rewire the motor first. On the motor itself, you should find a small wiring box with an access plate. Go ahead and undo that and you should find a handful of wires and a diagram. Well, hopefully you find a diagram. If you don't find a diagram, we're in trouble. When looking at this diagram, we can see that it has a 220 volt configuration and a 110 volt configuration. The little pluses indicate which wires need to be twisted together. So for instance, in the 220 configuration, it shows that the red wire and the yellow wire should be twisted together. And if we look, we can see that that's the case. Now, these little arrows represent the wires coming in from the power cord. In this case, it just appears to be a red, a black, and then the green ground wire. So let's look at this diagram a little bit closer. Like we saw before, it's broken up into a 110 side and a 220 side. We don't want to be confused by looking at the wrong side, so let's just ignore this part. There we go. Essentially, we're going to join an incoming wire with the black and the yellow wires that will be paired together. So this will be three total wires twisted together. Likewise, we'll have the other incoming wire joined with the red and gray wires. So we're going to have two groups of three wires, and this will give us our 110 configuration. Now, if you're colorblind or just a novice, you might want to call in an electrician to give you a hand. However, if you're an expert at this sort of stuff, you could always add an additional layer of challenging complexity by plugging in the cord and doing this step while standing in a bathtub full of water. 
All right, well, we're finally ready to give it a test. So let's go ahead and plug it in. And now for the moment of truth. All right, works. Well, I hope this has been helpful, informative, and that your life has found new purpose and meaning from watching you rewire a power tool. If you liked it, then hit that thumbs up button and leave me a comment. If you didn't like it, well, then you probably work for OSHA and didn't like my bathtub joke. Well, anyway, that's it for this one. We'll see you all next time. Yeah, that worked great, didn't it? Lousy. Stupid. Oh. I forgot to put the collar on, you idiot. Uh, all right, undo this.